ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin. This is my co-host, Teddy. Uh, this is the layout I'm going to use for now, guys. I know it's a bit basic, but it's going to be the best for me going forward and just for how I'm going to do the videos. I know the lighting isn't ideal. Uh, I've got lights on the way. Hopefully, they arrive this week, and uh, that should make everything look a lot prettier than it does right now. And, of course, we'll spice it up a little bit more. Uh, but this is basically the layout I think I'm going to use going forward. So let me know in the comment section down below what you think of that because the previous layout I had, which was me beside my computer, uh, a lot of people kept saying it felt really cramped and they didn't really like it that much. Uh, so that's what I'm trying to just change out with this a little bit. But this video is mainly just an update for you guys to let you know what's been going on with me uh, and just everything else over the last month since I haven't been posting any videos. So, you guys know, I sort of spoke about it a bit more, why I decided to leave New Zealand. It was for uh, multiple reasons. Mainly, uh, I wanted to be closer to a lot of the tech companies, which is why I came here. Uh, mainly because I wanted to live in another country, which is something I promised myself I would do before I turned 30. Uh, and I just turned 28 years old, so I sort of felt like I needed to get onto it. And I just think it was the right thing to do at the time um, with how my life was heading uh, in New Zealand. So that's sort of why, uh, to give a kind of basic overview. So what happened after I left? So I, I came here and uh, it was a little bit difficult at first. So the first issue I ran into was trying to find an apartment, which I actually thought would be pretty easy. Um, the issue being that they're quite small here and I wanted one with enough space that I could film enough space to have uh, two desks, obviously for the two rigs, for my personal rig and also for my girlfriend's rig, which is what I use as my second test rig as well. So one Intel system, one AMD system and trying to find a place that could fit two desks in it was actually really, really difficult. We probably looked at like 15 different places until we came across this one sort of half by accident and this one had enough room for us I'll take you around in a minute and give you a bit of an apartment tour so you can see what it looks like uh, But yeah, it took us a while. We did find another place. that was really good. We put the deposit down on it to get it and um, For some reason the landlord was like, oh, yeah now I'm gonna sell the apartment even though we put a deposit down to rent it for a year and he's turned around and was like, okay, I want to sell it now. So we were like, what? Anyway, got this place uh, and it's it's good. Yeah, don't really have any issues with it. Um, it's fine and I'm liking it so far. Let's take a tour around it right now. All right, guys, so this is how it looks. So I was just obviously sitting there uh, on the couch. This is how the layout's gonna be. So this is my new uh, tripod here. Should be much smoother than the last one. I have it set with my microphone, obviously, and the uh, uh, laptop there set up. So this is how I'm gonna have it. I'm gonna try and make the background a bit more fun there. This is it, just <laughs> our washing. You can just hang up there. Uh, so this is basically the whole lounge area, and this is why we went for this apartment, because it's got quite a big sort of uh, lounge area to it. This will be where Catherine's setup is. Uh, we have her rig built, but we're still waiting on some other stuff to get that sorted. So this will be her sort of setup, and that's obviously the AMD test rig, so I can do testing there too for that stuff. Uh, the table, we have the TV, which came with it, router, the switch is there. Um, this is just to keep all our stuff as well, uh, put that in there. So this is quite good. Up top, we have this is sort of, sort of loft area, so there's some other washing up there, and that's actually the bed up there. Uh, so we'll go up and take a look at that in a second. Here is all my setup. Uh, this is just uh, Catherine's keyboard right now. I have uh, Ducky 1-2, which I should have very, very soon, and that will be mine. I'll show you that in the rig update video. So this is just temporary. Uh, we'll go through that more. This is just a bit messy <laughs> and over here as well, just because I've been doing uh, all the building and stuff like that. So I've just been trying to get through everything, get it all done. And uh, Teddy's up here. So let's look upstairs quickly. See stairs go up. You see, I have my clothes and stuff here uh, because the roof is quite low. So I can only stand up here. I'm six foot tall, so uh, I just stand up. And uh, there's some more cupboards sort of over here. 
and this is the bed with the low roof. It's sort of a bit strange because when people walk upstairs, uh, it sort of sounds like they're like walking across your face, which takes a little while for me to get used to. Uh, let's go down. See, it's the other way you could look at it in terms of the uh, living room. Then as far as the kitchen goes, uh, pretty basic here. We don't really do much in the way of cooking here. Um, you can pretty much just go out to eat dinner every night and that's fine. There's just a balcony out there and then uh, just the bathroom here, which is all uh, somewhat standard shower and everything. So yeah, quite a nice apartment. Uh, I like it. It's got the space I need. If you still think this is really cramped, man, you should have seen the other ones we looked at. They, This is like gigantic by comparison to them. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, uh, it's just been a bit of an adventure trying to uh, get it all uh, sorted, but um, yeah, we got there in the end. So that gives you guys an idea of what it looks like. And yeah, I'm happy with it now and it's in a nice area and stuff, so yeah, it's a good place. Then the second sort of issue I ran into was getting the rigs over here. So I had left both the rigs in New Zealand with Playtech and Playtech were going to ship them over for me, which was really good of them. But then when it came to actually shipping them, once we got out of the apartment and stuff, I sent them the address and everything, then they turned around and were like, oh, the shipping cost is too high. Not Playtech's fault, just New Zealand, the shipping companies and stuff. It's just cost of fortune. So they were sort of a bit like, oh no, you know, we didn't think it would cost this much. And then I obviously I need the rigs. So I said, well, how, what are we gonna do now? And we thought then, well, the best thing to do is to just send over the sort of vitals, the internals. So they took out the motherboard and they just sent the motherboard, uh, CPU, the memory, and the uh, drives. And that was it. We left everything else. So those parts arrived here. And then, of course, I had to rebuild both of the systems with parts here. And I'll make that its own video because I sort of need to do a rig update video anyway and show all the setup and everything else um, that like deserves to be its own video so I can go over it all with you guys what parts I decided to go for in that and I'll do that in the future. Uh, but basically, so I got those parts here and then I had to um, sort out all the other parts which is what I've been doing and uh, that took a little while as well to sort out. So we finally got through it, got the rigs rebuilt which is good and just getting everything else sorted. So that took a while and then, of course, uh, in order to stay here, I needed to get a job, which I've done now. So I'm working part time and uh, that, that allows me to now stay here and get my health insurance and things like that, which you need. Uh, so that was another priority. So it's just been sort of getting through all those things and obviously settling in. It's a new country. I don't speak the language. Well, I can speak a little bit, but not that much. And uh, the whole like culture shock thing. I mean, I've been here before, so I kind of knew what to expect, but it is very different than uh, New Zealand. And also the fact I have to reestablish all of my connections with companies. So it's just been a lot to get through. But I thought I'd make this video for you guys just so you would understand now. And uh, now you do. So I'll be making uh, maybe a few more uh, videos coming up, just talking about the rigs and some other things. So I hope you guys like this video. Please let me know what you think of the layout. As I said, with lights, it'll look a lot better. And uh, thank you guys for watching this video.